I'm going to walk you through step by step to setting up webcam presets in OBS that you can move around with a stream deck. Hi, my name is Maya. Welcome back to the channel. There are a couple of things that you're going to need before we get started. You'll need OBS Studio and a camera setup ready to go. The first thing we're going to need to do is download the Move plugin for OBS. To download, head to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page. We're going to hit download and then choose whichever is suitable for your platform. I like to download the Windows installer version. It's super simple and all you have to do is just follow the steps that the installer shows and it's finished. You can also choose one of these ones. The only difference is you just have to manually move the files yourself. Now that we're here in OBS, we're going to go down the bottom corner and select the scene that we'd like to work on. Go ahead and right click and select filters and it's going to bring you this little pop up here. Now we're just going to head to the bottom left hand corner, click add and click move source. This is where we're going to name the source what we'd like. So let's go mid left and we'll set up our first preset. It's going to bring up this section here. So all you have to do is select the source and we're going to go cam group one. Don't need to worry about any of this. You can have a fiddle around with this if you like, but it's not that important for now. We're gonna head down here to transform. This is a really important step. We're just gonna hit get transform and that's gonna lock in this current location of the webcam that we have here now. Next, you just need to head down to actions. We're gonna select start trigger. You need to select enable. That's what's gonna allow you to use your stream deck to trigger the presets around your screen. That's it to start off with. All we have to do now is just right click this, click duplicate, and we're going to rename it to what we would like to do the next one. So let's go mid right. So all we have to do for this is just scroll down. And before you click get transform again, we're going to move the camera source to where you would like it next. So let's just go straight across and place it here. And then we're going to hit get transform and we shouldn't have to make any other changes seeing as though we duplicated the previous source. And you can test if this has worked by clicking the eye icon on the previous preset that we made before, just like this. So that shows that it works straight away, which is awesome. You can continue to duplicate these as many times as you like. For example, we could even do a move off screen one. For this one, I'm going to take the camera and move it right off the screen and then hit get transform. If we were to start off here and there's a cutscene or something, you can very quickly just go woof and you're gone off the screen and your viewers can see everything. And then you can come straight back up like that. Now, let's head over into Stream Deck so that you can change your presets with the click of a button when you're live. If you don't already have the OBS Studio plugin for Stream Deck, you're gonna to need to head to Marketplace. That's gonna bring you to this web page. All you have to do is click Plugins, and then it should be one of the ones that pops up first. And if you don't already have it, you just have to click Get. If it doesn't show up here, just search OBS Studio. It's super easy to find. It's a really common plugin for the Stream Deck. Once you've installed that, it'll show up with this huge list of incredible tools that you can use for OBS. This is an amazing plugin. If you don't use it already, you definitely should. I like to organize my Stream Deck into folders. It's up to you how you do this. But for example, let's just set up a new folder. We're gonna call it Presets. Open up your new folder and let's start with a blank slate. Head down to Filter and drag one across. Now you just need to select the scene you were working on. For me, that's recording. And then we're gonna select the filter that we would like on that particular button. Let's do mid left. Let's just quickly repeat this step for all of the other ones that we have made. So we've got mid right and we also have off screen. Once you've added all the presets that you like, you can now head to your stream deck and hit the buttons to make sure that it works. It's super easy and it makes moving your camera on the fly an absolute dream. I love this setup, it's so good. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, leave a comment down below letting me know or leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!